The ocean is vast. It stretches out before us, a seemingly endless blue. The sheer expanse of water can be both mesmerizing and intimidating. For centuries, intrepid explorers set sail upon this watery expanse. They ventured into the unknown, driven by a desire to discover new lands and trade routes. They faced the unknown with courage and a thirst for discovery. Each journey was a leap of faith, a test of their resolve and determination. But how did they navigate? How did they chart a course through such an unpredictable environment? How did they find their way across this watery wilderness without the aid of modern technology? No satellites, no electronic maps, just the vast open sea. Imagine yourself aboard a ship, the deck beneath your feet, the sound of the waves crashing against the hull. You are surrounded by nothing but water. The horizon stretches in all directions, an unbroken line where the sea meets the sky. The horizon stretches in all directions. It's easy to feel small and insignificant in the face of such vastness. The sun beats down from above and the wind whips at your sails. The elements are both your allies and your adversaries. You have no compass, no GPS, no modern instruments to guide you. Every decision is based on experience, intuition and the natural world around you. How do you determine your location? How do you know where you are in this vast expanse of water? How do you chart a course to your destination? The answers lie in the stars, the sun and the patterns of the waves. For ancient mariners, the sea was a realm of mystery and danger. Each voyage was fraught with uncertainty and peril. The vastness of the ocean presented a formidable challenge. It was a test of their skills, their knowledge and their bravery. Without landmarks or fixed points of reference, sailors relied on their ingenuity and a deep understanding of the natural world. They became masters of reading the subtle signs of the sea. They looked to the heavens, the waves, and even the creatures of the sea to guide their way. Each clue was a piece of the puzzle helping them navigate the vast ocean. Their ability to navigate successfully across vast distances, guided only by the stars and the sea, is a testament to human ingenuity and our enduring connection with the natural world. It reminds us of the incredible feats we can achieve when we work in harmony with nature. For millennia, the stars have served as a celestial compass for navigators, guiding them across vast and uncharted waters. Ancient sailors observed the patterns of the stars, meticulously studying their movements and positions in the night sky. They learned to recognize constellations, which were groups of stars forming recognizable patterns. These constellations became their guideposts in the night sky, helping them to determine direction and position. By measuring the angle between the horizon and a specific star, like Polaris, the North Star, they could determine their latitude, which was crucial for navigation. The invention of instruments like the astrolabe and later the sextant revolutionized celestial navigation, making it more precise and reliable. These tools allowed mariners to measure angles between celestial bodies with greater accuracy, enhancing their ability to navigate the seas. They could then use this information to calculate their position at sea. Imagine using a sextant, a tool that requires skill and precision. You hold it up to your eye, carefully aligning it with the horizon and the star you are using for navigation. You align the horizon with the star you are using for navigation, ensuring that the measurements are accurate. The sextant gives you a reading, which is a precise angle measurement. This reading, along with the date and time, helps you figure out where you are on Earth, providing a reliable method to determine your position. Celestial navigation, while challenging, was a remarkably reliable method allowing sailors to traverse the vast oceans with confidence. It allowed sailors to navigate the open ocean for centuries before the advent of modern technology, proving the enduring power of the stars as guides. Dead reckoning is a method of navigation that relies on estimating one's position based on a previously known position. It involves calculating the course and speed of the ship and factoring in the effects of wind and currents. Imagine you are on a ship sailing across a calm sea. You know your starting point. You are traveling at a speed of five knots. You are heading due east. After one hour, you can estimate that you have traveled five nautical miles east of your starting point. This is the basic principle of dead reckoning. Of course, in reality, the process is more complex. Sailors had to account for factors like wind and currents which could push the ship off course. They used tools like the chip log to measure speed and the compass to maintain their heading. 
In today's world, GPS has become the go-to navigation tool. But what happens when GPS signals are unavailable? Modern ships still carry backup navigation systems. These systems can guide the ship when GPS fails. One such system is the gyro compass. Unlike a magnetic compass, the gyro compass is not affected by the Earth's magnetic field. It always points to true north. This makes it a reliable tool for maintaining course. Another essential backup system is radar. Radar uses radio waves to detect objects in the vicinity of the ship. This is particularly useful in low visibility conditions like fog or heavy rain. It helps prevent collisions with other vessels or obstacles. Section 5. The Perils of Lost Bearings Navigating without GPS is not without its challenges. Sailors of the past relied heavily on their skills and tools. But even the most experienced mariners face significant risks. The risks are real, even with traditional methods and backup systems. Navigational tools like the sextant and compass were essential, yet they were not foolproof. One of the biggest dangers is the potential for human error. A single mistake could spell disaster for an entire voyage. Miscalculation in dead reckoning, an inaccurate sextant reading, or a misjudged position could lead to dire consequences. Or a faulty compass can have serious consequences. Equipment failure was another constant threat, adding to the perilous nature of sea navigation. Weather also plays a crucial role. The unpredictability of the sea can turn a routine journey into a life-threatening ordeal. Storms can blow ships off course, making it nearly impossible to maintain a steady direction. While fog can reduce visibility, shrouding the ship in a blanket of uncertainty, making it difficult to take accurate bearings, navigators had to rely on their instincts and limited visibility to guide them. In extreme cases, these challenges can lead to ships running aground, losing their way, or worse, or colliding with other vessels. The sea is an unforgiving environment where even a minor error can have catastrophic results. The story of the SS Edmund Fitzgerald is a tragic reminder of the power of the sea. This freighter, despite its size and modern equipment, was no match for the elements. This freighter sank in a fierce storm on Lake Superior in 1975 with the loss of all 29 crew members. The tragedy shocked the maritime community with the loss of all 29 crew members. Their memory serves as a solemn reminder of the dangers faced by those who navigate the seas. While the exact cause of the sinking remains unknown, theories abound, from structural failure to navigational errors. It serves as a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of the water, even in modern times. The sea, with all its beauty, remains a formidable force. Section 6. Celestial Navigation Today. A skill endures. While GPS has revolutionized navigation, the art of celestial navigation is far from lost. In fact, it's experiencing a resurgence in popularity. Many sailors and maritime schools recognize the importance of having a backup system. They are keeping this ancient skill alive. Celestial navigation courses teach students how to use the stars and the sun to find their way. These courses cover everything from understanding celestial coordinates to using a sextant. They provide a deep appreciation for the skills of ancient mariners. Section 7. The Significance of Traditional Navigations, a Timeless Art The enduring significance of traditional navigation techniques extends beyond their practical applications. They represent a profound connection between humanity and the natural world. For centuries, sailors looked to the heavens and the sea for guidance. They developed a deep understanding of the rhythms of nature. This knowledge was passed down through generations. It formed the foundation of maritime traditions and cultures around the world. Learning these techniques today is not just about acquiring a skill, it is about connecting with our history. It's about appreciating the ingenuity of those who came before us. Section 8. Conclusion. The Enduring Allure of the Sea. The sea has always held a certain allure. It is a place of mystery, beauty and danger. While modern technology has made it easier to navigate, the ocean still demands respect. Understanding traditional navigation techniques reminds us of the challenges faced by those who came before us. It deepens our appreciation for the vastness and power of the sea, so the next time you are gazing out at the ocean, take a moment to imagine a time before GPS. Picture yourself as a sailor, relying on the stars, the sun and your own ingenuity to find your way. 
It is a humbling thought, a reminder of our place in the grand scheme of things. 